the 1975s, Maddie Healy was at Taylor Swift's recent Eras tour stop, and the romance rumors are swirling. The 34-year-old singer was spotted on stage performing during Taylor's opening during her Nashville show. The musician was also captured on video dancing to her iconic 1985 song, Shake It Off, and reportedly attended all three nights. His support for Taylor comes just a few days after romance rumors sparked for the two musicians. In 2014, Maddie denied that he and Taylor ever dated and that there wasn't anything more than a quote flirtation. However, fans always suspected that there may have been something going on. Jack Antonoff is also a mutual friend of theirs and a collaborator. The romance speculation comes weeks after it was revealed that the Midnight Rain singer and her longtime boyfriend Joe Alwyn called it quits after six years together. Axis Hollywood has reached out for comment. Their reported breakup comes amid Taylor's sold out Eras tour, which she kicked off in March and the actor was never spotted at any of her shows. The anti-hero songstress has a 44-song set list from her 10 hit albums and has been performing two secret songs from her impressive catalog in each city, changing it up every night. Taylor always puts a lot of thought into her work as a way to give back to her fans. Access Hollywood's Scott Evans spoke to her in November 2021 at the premiere of her short film, All Too Well, and she explained why. And you woke up and chose violence today with this suit. Oh I see God. you, lady. I see you. Come on now. Thanks for saying that. You, I mean, you have to uh, listen. Violent velvet. Right? Violence. But then when you hear the fans singing the song. It's really got my heart expanding. Right? It's insane. I love them so much. And this that's what all this is about. Like, I'm just so glad they're having fun. Because yeah. I just want them to have fun this week. Yes. Because they filled my life with a lot of fun. Listen, joy and everything. Tell me. Singing these songs this time around, right? You, I've, I've heard you say that you cried through a lot of the press the first time you were promoting Red, right? Like it was tough. Yeah. And now, <laughs> right? And now I wonder when you were back in the studio singing the songs this time, did you have that same feeling or were you kind of in a different headspace? I think recording it, uh, really it was going back and trying to create as authentic a replica of the originals as I possibly could. Okay. With songs like, um, with songs on the original album, I wanted them to sound exactly alike. Okay. Um, then with the vault tracks, I wanted to be as creative as I possibly could. Okay. So these are songs that no one's heard before, so I wanted them to be the best version. These are the first impressions of these songs. Right, right, right. So uh, they're singing so loud, I love it's them. It's so, so good, loud. right? It's beautiful. It's a, okay, so this, is, this song is, one of like everybody talks about it being one of their favorites. You did a ten minute short film. It's like written and directed by Okay. How did it feel to be on that set knowing that this was a story that you were gonna tell, mainly to be a gift to all of these people who've made it something so special? Oh, it it really just was wonderful because when you have a secret, like I love planning things secretly for them. Because <laughs> yeah, right. they're so rewarding. They do this. Right. And they show up. They do this. Yeah. And like it's so rewarding to surprise. I can't believe they care that much, honestly, right. still. Yeah. Okay, listen, they care a whole lot. I've been online looking at some of the Easter egg and the, the connections that they've made. The one that killed me was Dylan and Sadie's age difference. They were like, okay, no, there's there's a there's a secret somewhere in there. There's a, a secret somewhere in there. Are they reading too much into it? They are, um, <laughs> they are the best detectives in the world. Right? I, I love watching their theories too. I love looking at, I like scroll TikTok, like watching their theories so often, all the time. Oh, I love that. I, so I love to just watch what they come up with because they're brilliant. Yeah. And also sometimes, I'm very into numerology. Okay. Sometimes they find things I didn't even plan. Really? Math. Okay. 95% of the time I'm planning it. But there are some times when they're like, the math! And I'm like, oh my god, the math!